Hey, what's up everybody, it's Efficiently AI. Today we're diving into uncharted territory. I'm talking about letting AI run my entire day. Yeah, you heard that right. We're talking 24 hours with artificial intelligence as my co-pilot, my manager, my digital overlord. Will it be amazing? Will it be a complete disaster? We're about to find out. Buckle up. So, the ground rules are simple. I'm handing over the reins to a suite of AI tools. We're talking scheduling, emails, content creation, even down to what I eat. No human intervention allowed. The goal? To see if AI can hack it in the real world and maybe just maybe teach me a thing or two about productivity along the way. Let's do this. No, seriously, I'm both hyped and a little terrified. This is my life we're messing with here. But hey, that's the beauty of tech, right? Pushing boundaries, exploring the unknown. All right, enough talk. Let's fire up these algorithms and see what they're really made of. First things first, the morning routine. My AI assistant, let's call her Alice, woke me up at precisely 6.15 a.m. with a personalized playlist curated by, you guessed it, AI. Not gonna lie, the algorithm nailed my taste, starting my day with some chill lo-fi beats. Next up, Alice, powered by Reclaim.ai had already optimized my calendar, blocking time for focused work, exercise, and even a 30-minute window for catching up on tech news. Honestly, it was kind of impressive. My schedule usually looks like a Jackson Pollock painting so seeing everything neatly organized was a welcome change. Breakfast was a simple, AI-recommended smoothie, the recipe generated by ChatGPT based on my dietary preferences. Not bad, ChatGPT, not bad. The whole morning felt strangely efficient. It was like having a personal assistant who actually knew what they were doing. Alright, time to tackle the inbox. This is where superhuman AI came in and let me tell you this thing was a beast. It sorted, prioritized, and even drafted responses to emails with lightning speed. It felt like I blinked, and my inbox went from overflowing to zero unread messages, but the real magic happened with meetings. Otter.ai, my AI meeting assistant, joined every call taking meticulous notes and even generating summaries. It felt weird at first having this AI silently observing everything but I quickly got used to it. The best part? No more frantically scribbling notes or zoning out during presentations. Otter.ai had me covered. By lunchtime I felt like I'd already conquered a mountain of communication tasks. This AI thing was starting to grow on me. Content creation on Autopilot AI as my co-writer and director. Afternoon rolled around and it was time to put AI's creative chops to the test. Using copy.ai, I started generating script ideas for my next YouTube video. I fed it some keywords and boom, a bunch of different concepts popped up, some surprisingly on point. Meanwhile, pictory.ai got to work on a video intro using my existing footage and some AI-generated graphics. I was skeptical at first but the results were pretty slick. The AI was even smart enough to match the visuals to the beat of the music. Now look, I'm not saying AI is going to replace human creativity anytime soon, but as a tool for brainstorming and streamlining the production process, it's a game changer. It felt like having an extra team member, bouncing ideas and handling the tedious stuff, freeing me up to focus on the bigger picture. Afternoon grind, optimized AI tackles tasks and streamlines my workflow. As the day wore on, Bardeen.ai took center stage, automating repetitive tasks like data entry and scheduling social media posts. It was like having a little digital helper, silently working in the background to keep everything running smoothly. Meanwhile, Notion AI became my brainstorming buddy, helping me outline this very essay and generate topic ideas for future content. It was like having a constant stream of inspiration on tap. Honestly, by the late afternoon I was starting to feel a little superhuman myself. The AI tools had taken so much off my plate, allowing me to focus on the tasks that actually required my unique human brain power. Reflecting on the robot rain. Did AI rule my day, or ruin it? As the AI orchestrated sunset approached, I found myself reflecting on the day. Sure, it felt a little strange having every minute planned out and executed with machine-like precision. But there was no denying the results. I got more done, felt less stressed, and even managed to squeeze in some AI-recommended meditation before bed. The experiment was over, but it left me wondering, could this be the future of work, a seamless blend of human ingenuity and artificial intelligence? One thing's for sure, AI is no longer some futuristic fantasy. It's here, it's evolving, and it's ready to revolutionize the way we work and live. So, can AI run your day? Yes. 
but should it? Honestly, I got more done, felt less stressed, and saved hours. But the best part, I didn't burn out. If you want to be more productive without working harder, AI might just be the assistant you didn't know you needed. Subscribe for more AI hacks, tools, and experiments every week right here on Efficiently AI. Until next time, let the bots work smarter so you don't have to.